For this tutorial, you'll be needing two different types of one yard satin fabric, elastic, tape measure, a marker, safety pins and pins, a pencil, scissors and tracing paper. For the first step of the tutorial, you will mark 13 inches on the tracing paper from the corner towards the center of the paper. This is to create the pattern for the bonnet. As you can see, this is a big pattern. If you would like your bonnet to be a bit smaller, you may go ahead and mark out either 11 inches or 12 inches. You can go ahead and fold your fabrics into four creating a four layer of each fabric. Then you go ahead and place them on top of each other. This is to help you to just cut everything at once. This is to just make your process a bit faster however if you would like to cut the material separately you can do so after you have aligned your tracing paper with your fabrics you can pin everything together pinning helps your fabric not to move while you are cutting After cutting your fabric, you should end up with two big circles. Once you are done cutting both your fabrics and you have two perfect circles, go ahead and place your right sides together and pinning them together. While you are pinning your fabric, just make sure that you leave a 2 inch opening for the elastic later on. After pinning your circles, you can go right ahead and start sewing them over to your machine. Don't forget the 2 inch seam allowance opening. Once you're done, you have to trace the opening on the material and turn the bonnet inside out. After you have turned your bonnet inside out, go around the edges and pull the fabric to get a perfect circle. You will have to measure the size of your head with the elastic band to fit to your comfort. And go ahead as well and measure the width of your elastic. Mine was exactly one inch. Since the width of my elastic was one inch, I went ahead and measured 1.5 inch from the edge into the circle and do this all around the material so it will be easy for you to sew around the circle. Before pinning this circle, you can go right ahead and iron it down so that it is nice and neat. You would 
of sewn without leaving any opening then go ahead and insert the elastic into the fabric through the opening you left earlier on hook the end of your elastic with a safety pin once your elastic gets to the end i would suggest having another safety pin to secure it to the end you can go ahead and secure your elastic with a zigzag stitch and close the opening this is a reversible bonnet you can wear it both sides guys i hope you like this tutorial if you would like to see more tutorials kindly like share and subscribe to my channel thank you